Hello YouTubers and welcome to my channel again. Today I have a 2006 Toyota Sienna or Marlin transmission all-wheel drive and I'll be replacing the lower control arm on the driver's side also the sway bar link and this job also applies up to 2009 Toyota Sienna is basically the same and also years before very similar than years before or, or about the same okay these are 21 millimeter lug nuts and I have lifted up the vehicle already I jack it up uh, because I have an impact gun here otherwise I will uh, break them loose while the car is on the floor with a breaker bar Okay, this is the lower control arm that I'm gonna be uh, replacing here. I, you can see it's all messed up here, it's all cracked. It's not good anymore. This is gone really bad. And I'm gonna be replacing this uh, sway bar link here. It's, uh, it's cracked here too, on both sides. Uh, also on the bottom. That's a light right there, see how it looks. Terrible. We uh, throw a little bit of uh, penetrating oil here. To all the bolts, we're gonna we're gonna work on 19 millimeter nut. I'm gonna use a ratchet and wrench here. Okay, I'm gonna proceed to uh, to unbolt the three nuts, uh, the three 17 millimeter nut here for the motor mount here beneath. One, two, and three. Okay, and also you have to come to the front of the engine and remove the 314 millimeter nut from beneath and the motor mount in the front of the car right there. That's one that's one right there, and that's the other one right there, and the other one beneath it, I mean uh, here, right there, as you can see. And to have a better view, that's the motor mount here. Okay, and right now I'm gonna proceed to take out this uh this 14 millimeter nut, one, two, and three from the motor mount in the front of the car in order to uh, to jack up the engine from beneath. Okay, and right now I'm gonna be raising up the engine from here. I have a uh, the bottle jack right there, a small bottle jack. The piece of wood here is getting part of the oil pan and part of the transmission. And now I'm gonna be taking this off, this nut off, a uh, 19 millimeter nut. Not bad at all. Okay, next step, I'm going to try to remove this uh, seven, uh, 19 millimeter nut here. Ah, there we go. Ay, vamos. Okay, now what's going to happen is I'm going to lift it up a little bit more for this, uh, for this to come out completely from here. I'm gonna leave it right there and see if I can bring it out. Okay, I'm gonna try to remove this uh, 22 millimeter bolt here for the control arm. This is the control arm here. I'm gonna use this extension here, wobble extension, 22 millimeter uh, uh, socket here. Here is the big bolt here, 22 millimeter bolt. This is the other 22 millimeter bolt here on the other side of the control arm. I'm gonna be using this uh, wobble adapter here. The, the 22 again, 
socket here, 22 millimeter socket, and I'm gonna use that same extension. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, make sure the socket is sitting all around the bolt, the head of the bolt, so you don't strip it off. Oh, beautiful. Oops. Here it is, 22 millimeter bolt. Okay, and now I'm gonna try to take out this uh, soy bar link, 18 millimeter nut here, right there, and the same on the other side. Uh, and here is a uh, 15, so I can hold it. So it, in case if it turns. Okay, on the other side, here, I'm gonna be doing it the same way, except uh, I cannot use the impact gun because it doesn't fit here. So I have to do it with a ratchet. And It's not good, see? It's all messed up. Uh, you can see everything inside. On the other side here either. It's not good either. Okay, it's very important to uh, uh, to take a good look at the rest of the suspension. The soy bar bushings are not okay. They need to be replaced, but that's something that is gonna be in a separate video. So it's good to, to take a good look. So now I got the camera a little bit closer. It's kind of dark here, but uh, you can see the opening is visible around the sway bar so those are bushings need to be replaced so but that's gonna be covered in another video so in this case the sway bar bushings also need to be replaced uh, later on but not in this video Okay, I'm gonna start to install the new control arm here. And to do that, I, I take out this uh, bolt joint, 18 millimeter nut, one, two, and a 15 millimeter bolt, 15 here. So I'm gonna take out this uh, bolt joint so it can be easier for me to install it. And don't forget about this bracket. This goes like this, here, like this. put this bracket later because it keeps uh, coming out Ahí. right there put the nut by hand go the bracket here These are the bolts for the control arm on the side there and I'm gonna clean them with brush, metal brush and uh, put a little bit of NS grease. Thank you. 
I still got to uh, tie this one. Uh, maybe about five minutes to install this uh, this control arm. Okay, I'm gonna be installing the ball joint here. going by hand I'm gonna just tap it with a hammer so the bolt of the ball joint can come out here a little bit then I can install this uh the nut just like that solo see I'm gonna tap it a little bit more It went all the way by hand. By the way, this uh, is a 21 millimeter nut. I'm gonna be uh, tighten this 19 millimeter nut again. Okay, I'm gonna be installing the motor mount right now, and I'm gonna clean this uh, with a metal brush, and then I'm gonna spray a uh, brake cleaner or starter fluid. Y le voy a echar spray cleaner, uh, brake cleaner o starter fluid. Let's see if it fits again. Sometimes the engine comes down a little bit. In that case, you have to jack it up a little bit more again. Okay, it came down just a little bit, very little. I'm gonna see the front motor mount to see if the bolts are still in the in line with the hole with the holes. Everything is uh, good on the front of the vehicle with the motor mount. The bolts are in line, so I'm gonna start bringing this down very uh, slow. So this one here uh, is already in. I'm gonna go to the front of uh, the, uh, the car again and see if the motor mount, uh, see if the bolts are still lining up. The three of them uh, are inside the holes already, so it's just a matter of uh, bringing it down. All right, beautiful. It came down already, so. Uh, all these uh, uh, bolts or not, they are supposed to go inside by hand. Okay, I want to mention something about this uh, motor mount. I know it looks old, but I inspect it and it's in very good condition. So that's why I, I didn't replace it, because uh, it's very good. 
okay when the thread is clean and the nut and also in the bolt they go by hand all right so everything is supposed to go by hand one more time these are uh, 17 millimeter nuts Okay, and I'm gonna go in the front of the car to tie these nuts and the motor mount there, but the only difference is they are 14 millimeter bolts. Okay, right now I'm gonna be installing the soy bar link here. Uh, when this doesn't uh, match the height here, uh, what you can do is adjust uh, hold the bolt here down or up. Yeah. 17 millimeter bolt here i mean a, a socket short one it's better for this purpose here and i'm gonna keep doing it like this while uh, the nut is not turning here because at this point it's not turning very good this uh, outer tie wrap is in very good condition so it doesn't need to be replaced uh, this nut is a 17 millimeter nut by the way Okay, I'm gonna install the carry pins here and this one and this one here. I'm, I'm only gonna be showing on this one because it's the same there. I already lined a hole here with the nut and the same on this one here on the lower ball joint. What I do is I just go like this and I leave a little more than the head here so it can and then uh, if someone takes it out in the near future you can they can grab it from here. Do not go too deep like this. That, that's, that causes problems. It's hard to grab it with a plier. It's not like if you leave it like this a little bit not too much either because then it stays too loose and then you come here and bend only one leg only one do not bend both the other one you leave it completely straight as it is so it can be grabbed with a plier and the near future if someone needs to take it out so now that one is good and the same with the other one uh, also i want to say the I already tied the the three fourteen millimeter nuts in the front of the of the engine, which is the the motor mount. Okay, a uh, thirty millimeters uh, axle nut here. I'm gonna tighten. Remember that I uh, lose it uh, to play a little bit better with the axle. Twelve point. And if you think this video was helpful for you, please consider to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and God bless you all.